It's been only six months since the police have come to Jacarezinho. There is a 24-hour police presence in the favela now. There is a good side and a bad side of that presence. The good side is that there is objectively less crime in the favela now. There is less violence if you define violence as the people being shot, murdered, robbed. There is also a different definition of violence that the people of Jokarezinia still experience by the presence of the police. So that even though there is the police, there is also the violence through their presence. And there is a kind of undercover violence which is very much related to the drug dealers and to the drug mafia. Now that there is the police, there is no longer an open war. Not every day somebody gets shot, but there is a kind of a cold war situation now between the drug dealers and the police. And it's underneath the surface. The community doesn't like the police. And they don't like it when the people respond to the police positively. They don't like the police to be talked to friendly conversation. You shouldn't talk to the police. Just ignore them. Don't acknowledge them. No interview, no photo, no video shots of the police while you are in the community. You can simply lose your camera. They don't like to be photographed because of their liaison with the drug dealers. No conversation. There are different kinds of police in the area. There is the military police in uniform and there is also undercover police force there. You can't identify them. If the police talk to you and ask you something, you will then immediately tell the police person to talk to the Brazilian that is accompanying you at all times. They will converse about what the issues are. You don't talk to the police. If it should happen that you are alone and there is no Brazilian next to you and with you, then ask somebody from the community that is standing there. Ask them to talk to the police. It doesn't mean that you have to be unfriendly to the police or reject them, but there might be some situation that you can't avoid, then you have to be aware that the community is watching your communication with the police and they should not estimate that you want to inform the police. There is not a good relationship between the inhabitants and the police. The police treat the inhabitants of the favela as a criminals. At the very least, they take up arms against the people and use cans on the people. That's why the relationship isn't good. The police doesn't respect the people, even if 99% of them are normal and only 1% are drug dealers. When a policeman sees a drug dealer, a shooting arises. For the time of your stay, there is an arrangement that in the surrounding of the Silula Urbana, they won't do that action. But in the case that it does happen, you should immediately fall down or run into the house to look for shelter. It is the usual situation for the favela. Just shout Rumba! It is the name of the favela's leader. Your savior is not Samba, but Rumba. When you are in danger, just shout Rumba! No drugs, no alcohol, neither in Jacarezinho nor in Rio. Neither 3 grams nor 3 kilograms. It is 5 years in prison for the minimum dose. Don't carry strong liquor like vodka with you. You can take one beer or a maximum of two. You should be conscious that you are being observed. You will be never alone. You shouldn't treat the children like innocents playing. Even a six-year-old child could be in the hierarchy of the drug dealers and can inform them. They have weapons. 
If the people are working in the drug business, they can make 2,000 American dollars, but there is also the wish for a normal job. If you go to Jacarezino, be respectful to the people. You should be here as a guest. They know you've come from the Bauhaus to work here. You can take photos, but the people like to be asked about it first. In Jacarezino, they won't rob you, but when you leave something behind, they will rob it. Don't take more than 30 reals with you, no dollars. You should have money, because if you are robbed, the people could be angry that you have no money. Always carry a copy of your passport with you. If somebody wants your camera, give it to him. It's only metal. If he becomes angry, he can take your life. You must see the lion. Rio is a wonderful landscape. Ah, the zebra are so beautiful. But there is a lion. You must be aware of what happens. If they perceive you are not attentive, the lions will eat you. The people of the community know that they will have problems if something happens to any one of you. There was a shooting in Jacarezino last night. One woman was shot by the police. But don't tell the others. Sana, stop. There is a police car here. Thank you. 